Chapter 4 of our Fiscal Risk and Sustainability Report provides an updated set of long-term fiscal projections, which illustrate the sustainability of the public finances over the next 50 years. The starting point is the latest ONS demographic projections, which show the total UK population rising from 68 million people today to 82 million by the mid-2070s, significantly higher than we projected in our last FRS in 2022. But the population is also expected to age considerably over the next 50 years, with the share of people of working age, between 16 and 65, falling from 61 to 58%, and the share of people over 65 rising from 19 to 27%. The ageing of the population matters for the sustainability of the public finances because most of the government's tax revenues come from people of working age, whereas most government spending goes on older people. Over the next 50 years, the ageing of the population is projected to drive a growing gap between government spending and government revenue. The biggest drivers of this rising fiscal deficit are falling revenues from fuel duty and other taxes on emissions, rising spending pressures on health and pensions, which we assume the government accommodates, and the interest costs of the government's growing stock of debt. These growing fiscal deficits feed through into a mounting stock of government debt, which is projected to rise from just under 100% of GDP today to 274% of GDP in the mid-2070s in our baseline projection. But this doesn't account for the fiscal impact of significant economic shocks like the pandemic and energy crisis, which have been an important driver of recent increase in debt. Taking account of potential future shocks, government debt would rise even more to 324% of GDP, higher than it has ever been in the country's history. There is clearly a lot of uncertainty about what might happen over the next 50 years, and the report also looks at a range of alternative scenarios based on different underlying assumptions for things like migration, productivity growth and the health of the population. But in almost any scenario, government is likely to have to adjust current fiscal policy settings if it is to keep the public finances on a sustainable path in the long term. Read our full report on our website at www.obr.uk.